Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we were able to indulge as a gourmand in the Lungeon Kingdom. Fight off that cookatiel from trying to bite our meat. And now we're headed to the Bowser. Bowser's Kingdom. If you enjoy heading to Bowser's Kingdom with a full belly, consider liking this video, commenting, subscribing. No sense in... Trying to do battle on an empty stomach. So take care of that first. You're not yourself when you're hungry. So there we are. 195 moons so far. We are 45 moons away from the most of any quantity of something collected in a Mario game. With 240, of course, from Galaxy 2. 100% of that for all of you, because I care about you. Yeah. Good gas, Cappy. Let's see what useful skill... Cappy has for us today the triple jump. Yeah. If you didn't know that, then you've never played Mario 64 and you're no friend of... No, I'm kidding. I don't know if I've actually done a triple jump in this Let's Play so far, but I've done probably the majority of the, uh, the other things. The Bowser in Bowser's Kingdom. Is that Bowser? No, it's the guy who runs Nintendo. Oh. That's not good. Are we shaking? Is it cold? Do we briefly have Parkinson's disease? Oh boy. Uh, viewers? Is this Skyrim? Well. In case you wanted your platform to turn into pure fantasy, here you go. Oh boy, he's a fire his laser. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you never would have expected that, did you, viewers? Bowser touts, totes out, to 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 brings out a dragon and just blasts us out of the sky. That bowl's a lot smaller than it was when we were in the kingdom. Maybe he just got it to go box. But yeah, that was pretty uncool, huh? That's the end of the game. Mario is now dead. The ruined kingdom crumbled in. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a bit of a weird part of the um, a weird part of the game that I would say for most people was pretty unexpected, and uh, yeah, you wind up clearly in a state of disrepair with the Odyssey here. It's it's not doing so hot as you'd expect, getting blasted out of the sky by a huge heckin' dragon. And in this kingdom, there's these weird. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Swords, keys, nose pickers. I got nothing, viewers. But we are in Crumbledon. In the Ruined Kingdom. Which... Oddly enough... Um, is how we're apparently going to fix the Odyssey. So there are Power Moons here. We are going to grab as many as we can to bring the Odyssey back to life. Although... I don't quite understand how that works, although we only need three, according to this. I would love you to grab this, Mario. <laughs> there we go. It reminds me of, like, playing Wind Waker, and you're in the Forbidden Fortress, and you're trying to do that little part where you're sneaking past the searchlights, and I could not, I could not get that to go. But everything's fine. We're going to take our time here and, you know, just take in the views of just the horror all around us. Very much like real life. Minus dragons, but you know. The horrors of re real life. All right, here we go. Prepare yourselves. Hold on to your butts. Oh yeah. Were you expecting to fight a dragon in a Mario game? I bet you weren't. Oh man. So yeah, welcome to the boss fight. Um. I don't remember what this boy's name is, but yeah, so we're fighting a dragon who is shooting discs of magix at us. Oops. Okay, cool. We have to dodge the electricity, and then as you can see, the artifacts, these key things that were all around early going. We're implanted into its head. I don't know if it's like being mind controlled, Ooh. but 
This dragon is out to get us. It's an electric type, of course. Oop. Take a penny, leave a penny, of course. That's cool. Whoa. This boss fight's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, interesting in the sense that it's kind of random that you'd be fighting a dragon in a Mario game, but I mean, like, you know, what's stopping them? So you gotta be quick. That's one of the things that the more that... As the fight progresses, of course, it's gonna have more of those doodads in its head. So... And it's going to be firing off more of these electro discs. What is this, Tron? Anybody like the movie Tron, the new one? I know that people had kind of mixed feelings about it. But I'll tell you what I didn't have mixed feelings about. Is that soundtrack? Who doesn't love a good Daft Punk soundtrack? If you don't like Daft Punk, you're in front of mine. So you got to be quick here um, if you want to one-cycle this guy. So get your, uh, get your business going. Ooh, time to finish him off. He gone. Oh, yeah. And we just murdered mythology. How about that, viewers? You like that? Is that good for you? I also don't know if there were other moons to grab while I was here, but, you know. So, uh, let's see if I can pull this off. Let's backflip off its corpse. No, close enough. <laughs> we'll take it. Killing that dragon took less time than having the final books of Game of Thrones written. Woo! That feels pretty good, doesn't it? We did catch that dragon. And that should be enough to somehow get the Odyssey back on its feet. I don't know... I'm not sure what the metrics are for... repairing the Odyssey. It always seems like it just kind of depends. Also, is there more to do here? Hint Toad somehow wound up in the Ruined Kingdom. I'm not sure how that tracks. But maybe there's a little bit more to do before we've... Oh, there's one on the actual battleground. Okay. Maybe we pop back there real quick and see what that's about. I don't really know if they intend for you to do this. But, uh, is it, okay, maybe it's not dead. Maybe it's just very, uh, sleepy now. Sorry. Okay, so it is tired. So we didn't murder it. Close, though. Okay. So I'm assuming maybe it's referring to that space as the moon area. I don't know what else it could be. That seems pretty logical to me. We're just gonna crawl all over your face. Is there potential that there is a moon back behind you on your body? Viewers, I'm just, it's my due diligence, okay? It's not for me, although I'm very stuck now. There we go. Yeah, what a strange little circumstance. But hey, you know, no harm in trying. Let's go ahead and do some bonus moons. Just completely in the face of this very almost dead dragon. Okay. I'm assuming hitting this will do. What does this do? Ah. Does, does this stop this? It does. Okay. I don't know if the top. Lair was the one I wanted or not, but we're gonna find out. Can I make it over top? Viewers? Oof. What a climactic jump. I never thought I was gonna make it. All right, let's get a little bit of a running start. There we go, we did it. Okay. I don't remember this being that difficult, but you do have to be good at your shapes. So, viewers, oops. Did not mean to do that. For some reason, my brain was like, what happens if I hit this block? What do, what, what do I do? That's closer to what I want. I'm thinking maybe a similar shape. Uh, nope. Does this reset both of them? Because that is a pain in the buns. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, the other one's not quite so... Eh, that'll work. 
Not quite so north, south, east, west. Actually, I don't know if it will. Let's reset our reset. Boop. Yeah, we're going to want the higher ground on the first block here. Ugh, I goofed it again. Clearly, you can tell how good I am at timing puzzles, especially because I have never done a roulette successfully in this game. Okay. <laughs> we got to do a little, a little preemptively. How about that? There we go. All right. Okay, I think that'll work. It would be devastating to have to cut back and forth from me not being able to do a basic timing puzzle because I'm a dummy. All right. Is there potentially anything else amiss? I don't think so. And this probably just means that the puzzles are gonna get more complicated. Oop, there's shenanigans over here. How do we get down though? Ooh, we probably need a Koopa. Can we get a Cooper? Ooh, for a second I thought these guys were on fire. And boop. Okay. Can I carry you? Can I carry you, my wayward son? Zoop. Ooh, that might do it. That was actually kind of unintentional. Some Mario 3 shenanigans. Viewers. I did this for you. All right. So this is, I'm assuming, the bonus land where you can get, obviously, the kind of the secondary moon. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it seems like the top one would make the most sense, right? But I don't know how I'm going to be able to get up there. What if I just do the... Nope. That ain't it. I goofed, and now they are out of rotation. Yeah, I think part of it is like, I'm underestimating, or overestimating, the amount of time it takes for Cappy to travel to that spot and me hit it. So this should work though. The game gave me the boop -a -doo boop and that's how you know you did good. Roulette tower stopped. Wouldn't it be nice, viewers, if any time that you did something good in life, you got a little boop boop boop. Just be a nice, like a good indicator that success was on the way. Okay. All right, this looks horrible. Um, not excited about this. I'm assuming we gotta do a little bit of stair stepping. Okay. Yeah, they give you a, they give you the jangle. So that's how you know you did it right. Okay, double jangle. Can we get the triple jangle? Fears, I've done it. Whoa, do not hit that button. It's actually known as, um, I, as far as I know, this is actually the trickiest puzzle in the game. And so having done it, clearly you're in good hands and you know that I've taken you to the next level. Beautiful. All right. Whoa. <gasps> Viewers, I do the, oh, maybe that's what I have to do is when you, oh, <gasps> is that the cap? No, that's probably not it, but that was pretty cool. I should actually use that technique in the future. All right, my dude. We'll catch you later, Dragonite. Everybody's favorite dragon. The good old days. The only dragon type, the OG. Okay. We can thank Hint Toad for that. We now have double the amount of moons. We need to get the Odyssey up and going. Although this would have been nice to get a nice even two hundo, but you know what? I went above and beyond for you because I care about you and you're welcome. Thanks, Team Mike. All right, Odyssey's repaired. Doesn't look like it, but apparently that was enough juice to get it going. It's just like me whenever I'm trying to hunt for a bargain for gas in my car and I see that there's cheaper gas somewhere else. So what I'll do is I'll just give a little mwah, a little kiss of gas to get me to my next destination. But sometimes I get impulsive and I just fill up and regret it when I find it much cheaper another day. But stuff happens. All right, certainly a doozy of an interruption. Way to underplay that, Cap. We just got attacked by a dragon. 
Wow, nothing phases this guy. <laughs> Cappy's like, back to it, back to work. Actually, you know what? As part of a member of DMIC Industries, I actually really appreciate that. Good job, Cappy. No time to slack off, even when you're getting attacked by mythical creatures. Alright, I do believe we've done this side somersault. Also, I didn't know if the Ruined Kingdom had a, uh... Had a pamphlet. So that was my bad. We'll go back and look at it another time. We gotta help those, too. Those emojis. I bet we'll be back. Spoilers, we will. I think every kingdom, to a certain degree, will get, uh, we'll get a revisit, so don't worry about that. Also, this is very strange. The way that this is designed, Bowser's Kingdom. Infiltrate Bowser's Castle. Has some of the best enemies in this game, and probably potentially in Mario history. So, yeah. This is kind of, uh, it's the end of the game, honestly. Kind of crazy. The cap you at so few moons, but it is what it is. We're going to make the most of it. We're going to get the heck inside Bowser's Castle today. How about that, viewers? It is very much, um, as far as I know, which I don't, because I am very, uh, not historically inclined, um, but yeah, this is, I, I believe this is based off of, like, ancient Japanese culture, which would make a lot of sense. It's, you know, a Mario game, but we need 10 Goombers to be able to hit that switch, as you saw. There's probably exactly 10 here. We can do a little bit of accounting. A 1, 2, 3, a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yes. It'd be pretty a raw deal if they, uh, if they didn't have that many. This is probably the tallest Goomba stack we've done so far, I think. Boom, look at that. And the moons here in this kingdom are a nice juicy red, my favorite color. Stack up above the wall. I don't know if this leads to... Ooh. You know what? Because I didn't do it last time, let's do it now. Almost forgot to give you two brochures in a row. Bowser's Kingdom, the well-defended ca well castle floating among glowing clouds of gas. The population is middling. The size is sprawling. The locals are the stairface ogres, these gentle guys. The currency is oblong. The industry is Hanafuda cards. Hanafuda cards were actually the initial industry of Nintendo. They were, uh, it's a playing card game that they made way back in like the 1800s. Pretty cool. And a pretty nice temperature. I would appreciate if where I lived could be that temperature or cooler. So there's beautiful tile work. Terrifying gatekeepers. The whole thing all on the wall. These holes were meant to allow defenders to shoot at invaders, but nowadays you're more likely to find a demon or a snake coming out than an arrow. That's much better, of course. So yeah, this kingdom is pretty huge. Um, it'll take a good bit to explore. So let's go ahead and give you a chance to read up on these. Statues guard the court. Nothing like a little, uh, little idolism. Impressive fortifications. And an oasis of calm. So, yeah, it's a bit of a weird contrast of what seems to be an old military base that's also supposed to be kind of a place for meditation. Strange. The three keys to the kingdom. Dart past the silent lethal staircase ogres. Avoid being distracted by the ominous, yet brightly glowing park clouds. Survive the various traps designed to end your trip early. So there you go. Here's. Let's go ahead and grab our first look at these coins. Bowser apparently has his own currency. He's a pump and dump Bitcoin scammer. So, surprise. I'm having a lot of trouble jump <laughs> jumping out of this end spot for some stupid reason. All right. As far as I know, there isn't anything beyond this in the first area. So I'm going to try not to get super involved in this part of the world just because there's a lot to do here and I want to dedicate a good amount of time. I don't want to shortchange you. In this episode, I already had a boss fight in it. So viewers, you know, you kind of got what you paid for already. Let's not, let's not get greedy. Check over here really quick. Looks like imminent doom, and I don't think there's anything up top there. If there is, oops. Okay. Go ahead and blast away. Ooh, these are one of my absolutely favorite 
captures. So these are the, um, I don't know what these, these boys are official names are, but they're, to me, they're just pokey birds and also they're adorable. So if you don't like this, I don't know how much more wronger you could be. Look at this, viewers. Oh, oh, he's got a little mustache above his beak. Oh, I love it. All right. So basically, as you can see due to the marks in the wall that I've made, whatever material this wall is made out of is safe enough to jam our beak into behind the big wall, and you can ascend that way. You can also do battle with your fellow pokey birds. But yeah, this is a pretty decent uh, mechanic. It doesn't really feel annoying or anything like that. I mean, at least in my opinion, I, I enjoy it. I think it's good. And it kind of beats the whole fork mechanic. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this, though. Got plenty of spinies around. Hard if you need it. I do believe we can break boxes. Okay. I think that might be all the fun you can have in this first part. Although that looks a little ominous. Foreboding. Also, who doesn't love the the sound effect? Ugh. Everything about this is wonderful. See ya! Alright, so moving on to the next area. That, my friends, as you can see, is going to be the eventual place we go. But we are in the third courtyard, in the rear. We will, we will be taking Bowser from behind. But first, music. Not a fun song that I recognize in any meaningful way. Get away from me. Yeah, probably not going to grab a ton of moons in the early going of this area, but taking notes, get out of here. But as you saw, I did do a boss fight for all of you, so I don't want to hear it. Ooh, look at this boy. Oh, yes. Oh, oops. All right, so here's how you dispatch these. Well, oh, I'm on him. I did not expect that. So they expose their noggin. Whoop. And a boot. Nope. And okay. Take two, three. They don't like when you do that. And I believe this is a storing moon, so we'll grab this really quick. And that should give us access to the second part as we continue to infiltrate Bowser's Castle. Those moons look like baby bell cheeses. The cheese with all the wax on it. Oh, yeah. There it is. The first part of our mission is complete. Smart bombing. Okay. Things are going to get a little explosive, it appears. But uh, that's something that's going to happen next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll catch you next time as we continue to infiltrate Bowser's Castle. Bye.